intensively monitored watersheds or IMWs in, in the state of Washington. The idea has to do with identifying whether salmon recovery restoration techniques actually benefit the populations of salmon at the watershed scale. So with respect to the Skagit Chinook salmon and the Delta, about 800 acres have been restored. Ultimately, what we'd like to know is are we getting more fish leaving the rivers? In the Lower Columbia watershed that is incorporated in the IMW program, we learned pretty early on that the winter survival for coho salmon, for juvenile coho salmon, could be quite variable. And because of this, the habitat restoration is targeting overwintering habitat in these populations in the hopes of improving their survival and then improving their returns to the river. The way that the IMW program is set up is that each watershed complex has a control or a reference stream where no restoration is planned. And in the other streams, treatments are planned. So there is habitat restoration actions that take place. We're able to look at the fish responses to those watersheds that have received the restoration and compare them to watersheds where there has been no restoration actions taken. The value of looking at a watershed scale is to say, in addition to what has happened at a particular site, is this actually resulting in more juvenile fish leaving the river, or have the fish simply redistributed to the better quality habitat where the restoration action has taken place? IMW support a whole watershed experiment, and that's a very valuable approach that you can't understand fish population response without working at that scale. And we could just be attracting fish that are already in the watershed, in the streams, to a particular place and not making any new fish. But when we study them at the population level for a whole watershed, we find out whether that treatment, putting in, for example, root wads, actually adds up to having more fish leave the system as smolts um, and migrate out to the ocean. By uh, monitoring the fish responses to the, their current environment and the current conditions, it helps us to understand whether we're taking the right actions and actions that would benefit the fish populations. <laughs>